This is Desplays, and welcome back to Fallout 4, where today we're going to take a look at two different mods that, in my opinion, will greatly increase the amount of fun we can have with the settlements, which, as you should know by now, are my favorite part of this game. And those two mods are Better Settlers by Tom 293 and Settlement Rating by Mark Price. Better Settlers is one of the two mods I talked about in my previous video when I was saying how disappointed I was that as long as you were there to help defend a settlement, your settlers couldn't be killed. This mod not only improves the basic settler that you can recruit, but more importantly, it comes with a patch which makes them actually killable by somebody other than you. This small change significantly increases the importance of not only your presence for settlement defense, but also for your participation, because the longer the battle lasts, the more likely it is that you're going to lose somebody. As for the other changes, the main file for the mod ups the settler stats so that they'll be about three times stronger than normal and also gives them the perks Life Giver and Admantium Skeleton so they won't be permanently crippled and will heal out of combat if they survive the battle. I'll say that again, if. They also get better starting weapons and a chance at getting stim packs, which they will use in battle. Lastly, they also have a chance of spawning with armor, from normal clothes all the way up to combat armor, although the better the armor, the lower the chance that they will actually get that. For example, on the low end, settlers have a 55% chance of spawning with just normal clothes, and on the high end, a 5% chance of spawning with, a, with combat armor. There are also optional patches you can use, one that will set this mod to spawn settlers with nothing higher than leather armor, and the other which spawns settlers with nothing lower than metal armor. Important to note that making your settlers mortal is also an optional patch that you will need to grab if you're like me and that's something that you want. The mortal patch only affects generic settlers and not named settlers, so I'm sorry to tell you that when your sanctuary gets wiped out by super mutants, the longs will still be there. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. So once you've got that mod in place, you can test it out by installing the Settlement Raiding mod. This mod gives you a set of bat files that you can run from the console which will force settlement raids of varying compositions and difficulties at specific locations. Right now this mod works at Sanctuary, Starlight Drive-In, and The Castle, and your enemies can be Raiders, Mutants, Gunners, the Brotherhood of Steel, the Institute, as well as three special raids of Ghouls, Deathclaws, and Robots. For those special raids, the mod author actually has a special note in red to save your game, so I might have to improve my defenses some more before actually trying any of those. The bat file names are very easy to use and remember, so you won't have to be constantly tabbing out to figure out what you need to enter. The command always begins with a bat, and then three letters designating first the location, then the enemy, and then the difficulty. Sanctuary is S, the castle is C, and Starlight Drive-In is D. The enemy types for the Raiders, Mutants, Gunners, Brotherhood, and Institute are represented by R, M, G, B, and I, respectively. And the difficulties of Easy, Medium, and Hard, and Insane are represented by E, M, H, and I. So to spawn an attack on Sanctuary by the Brotherhood on Hard difficulty, we would type out Bat S B H. Pretty simple, although a Medium attack by the Brotherhood on the castle wiped me out, so you may want to up your defenses some more before trying Hard or Insane. The Settlement Rating mod also has an additional option to it which I really love, and that is the Soldier plugin, which will allow you to spawn in fully equipped Settlement Soldiers, which you can then assign to Defense or whatever else you may want them to do. This plugin comes in two different options, Mortal if you want them to be killable, or Immortal if you want them to be more like Vanilla Settlers and unkillable. I really appreciate that the modder included the first option in this. So, I had a little trouble getting this to work at first, but that's just because I'm terrible about fully reading directions when I first find something that really gets me excited, but it's actually really simple. Before loading the game, take a look at your load order and note the load order number of the mod. As you can see here, SRM Soldiers Mortal is load order number 08. Remember that because that will determine the item ID that we need to enter. So once we're in game, we go to a settlement where we have a workshop, open the console, and type out the command, the item ID, and the amount of the item that we want spawned. In this case, that would be player.placeatme 08999001 space 1. And that will spawn one of the soldier settlers for us to use. The important part for you to note is that the first two numbers of the item ID will change if the load order number is different. For example, if this plugin was number 05 in your load order, your item ID would be 05999001. Once you have the settler spawned, you need to open the workshop, command the settler, and first, I'll say that again, first, tell them to move to whatever settlement you want, in this case, sanctuary, and then you can assign them to a defense post. 
If you try and assign them to a defense post before telling them to move to the settlement, it won't actually work. You also don't have to spawn them one at a time, and the mod author actually recommends spawning five at a time just to speed up the process. So that's basically all I have to say about these two mods, which I think by themselves are great, but used together they are just fantastic. I have honestly spent all day today just spawning raids at my settlements and watching the fireworks. And I can't really think of a better way to bring in the new year. Now if you're interested in these mods, you can find the links below in the video description, and if you like their work, don't forget to hit the endorse button on the Nexus. It just takes a little bit of effort from you to show a little appreciation for a lot of effort from them. So many thanks from me to both of the mod authors for their work, and many thanks to you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoy these mods as much as I do, and also hope to see you next time.